Welcome to Dinosaurs A to Z, where we stomp through the alphabet and explore the extraordinary world of dinosaurs. I'm Dr. Victoria Edgerton, Eli Lilly and Company Extraordinary Scientist in Residence at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, and I'm your guide for Dinosaurs A to Z. Today, our featured dinosaur is Quantosaurus with letter Q. Quantosaurus is a cute little herbivorous dinosaur that lived in southeastern Australia a little over 125 million years ago. It was about six feet long, about the size of a small kangaroo, which is quite fitting since it was found in Australia. Quantosaurus probably didn't hop around like a kangaroo, but it is kind of cool to imagine a bouncing dinosaur. Quantosaurus is found during the Dinosaur Dreaming Project, where more than 700 dedicated volunteers helped find fossils on the coast of Australia. In fact, it was one of these incredible volunteers, Nicole Everett, who found the fossil. So it's not always experienced paleontologists who find the most exciting fossils. All that was ever found of Quantosaurus so far is just part of a lower jaw. So how do they know that this is a new dinosaur? Dinosaur paleontologists spend their lives studying bones from living and extinct animals. We learn to look for the smallest detail to find differences in the shape of these bones. When we have a new fossil, we compare it to others, and sometimes the fossil is unique. In that case, we then describe it and name it. We can't name a fossil after ourselves, but we can name it after other people, like Marshosaurus was named after Othniel Marsh, a famous paleontologist who lived more than 150 years ago. In the case of Quantasaurus, it was named after Quanta Airlines, a supporter of many dinosaur expeditions. There were several other dinosaur bones found in the same rocks as Quantasaurus including some bones from Ankylosaurus, the armor-plated dinosaurs. But most of the dinosaurs found with Quantosaurus are only known from a single bone. Why do you think that is? Well, millions of years ago, an ancient river flowed in this area. Bones and teeth of animals who died along the side of the river would have been picked up and carried away. In time, these bones would have settled to the bottom of the river and buried. Even though we don't get whole skeletons, Isolated bones and teeth can still be identified and new animals can be found. Quantosaurus was one cute little dinosaur. There are more than 10 other dinosaurs that start with the letter Q. Which one will be your favorite? 